and it's recording. Okay. Hi guys. I know you haven't seen me in forever, but one of the reasons is that I've packed up and moved um, back up to Pennsylvania closer to grad school. So um, I thought that I would show you around my apartment. Um, so you people do apartment and house tours and stuff like that, so I thought I would do it myself. Yes, I have absolutely no makeup on. It's just a lazy day, a lazy Friday around the apartment with the dog, with Taz. See, there's Taz. Uh, if anyone wonders, he's a Pekingese. Um, and in my cake shirt and my Atari jacket. Atari symbol. Um, it was like a hand-me-down from one of my siblings. Um, so I thought I'd show you around my apartment. It's a little one bedroom. It works for me. So, let's get started. First, we should head to the front door. Come in through the front door and the first thing you see is this adorable <laughs> little neon green dog butt that I use to hang Taz's leash on. I think it's adorable. I think the little dog butt is so cute. Um, yeah, so that's my little front door and my little front door area. Um, there are a lot of closets in this apartment. You first come to this closet that I'm going to be using mainly for like jackets and sweaters and stuff. See, I have a jacket up here. Up here I have a lot of like sweaters and uh uh, not sweaters, um, like hats and scarves and stuff. I'm actually gonna drop my Atari jacket right there. This is a bin full of Taz stuff and reusable grocery bags and stuff. Here is the living room. It's a little bit of a mess, but excuse me. Um, uh, a pile of stuff. Um, this is mainly the chair that I sit in. And it has a little stool with my laptop, and I got my remote, there's a little table in between, and then another chair. This is, um, not a painting, because it's not paint, it's, I forget what those types of special things are called, pastel, not pastel, I forget what it's called, but it's, a piece of artwork of our dog Chrissy that my mom got me for one of my birthdays so I love it and it looks just like her when she was younger so yeah here's a desk that I got from just from Target because um, I needed one and I have my printer these bags from Nordstrom have like random electronics that I have yet to unpack and don't know where to put them um, here is a bookcase. I have my DVDs, um, which is kind of hard to have them sitting because they're very tempting because I can't watch them because I don't have a DVD player and my laptop does not have a CD DVD drive, so they're just all sitting here looking pretty. Um, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you remember me, me buying this, so... It's a sweet grass basket from Charleston. Um, some personal books. Some, t some textbooks down there at the bottom. This is a little drawing that I did when I was in first grade. You can't really see it, but there's a title right here uh, in pencil. And you can't really see it because the light from the from the windows, but it says, a purple hairy turnip in purple and blue bushes. And yes, it's a purple, I have no idea how I knew what a turnip looked like in first grade, but apparently I knew what a turnip looked like in first grade. Um, but he's got green hair and a bow tie on, and that's a microphone in his hand. And he's singing his, I guess, jazz music, or I don't know, I guess he's a crooner. Um, in purple and blue bushes, and if you look closely, you can see that I put a P in the purple bush and a B in the blue bush, just so that I remembered which color to color it, but yeah, I think it's adorable, and so my mom framed it for me for my birthday. Um, I got a fancy, well not fancy, I got a TV. It's fancy because it's my TV, 
and I've never had my own TV. Um, here are some boxes, an empty box that I need to take out to the trash, my recycling, and that's a, a box that I haven't opened yet, and some textbooks. Um, here's a cool Beatles poster that we got at, I think, a thrift shop a, a couple of years ago. I think it's really cool. This is supposed to be the dining room, but I have yet to get a dining room table yet, so right now it's the room full of chairs in Taz's crate. Um, we got Taz's crate that we got at PetSmart and put it together. We got some chairs that are supposed to be around a dining room table and a stool. Um, this was a painting that was my grandparents and now it's mine. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, this is a painting of a restaurant cafe in France, um, and it was my grandparents, and now it's mine. Um, oh, here's a little board that I don't put the days on it. I put, like, shit that I have to do and, like, homework and stuff. Um, so, yeah. Um, here is my kitchen. My kitchen is a hot mess. Um, because I don't really have a lot of cabinets to put food in. I have cabinets to put, like, dishes in, but I don't have cabinets to put food in. So, and there's very limited counter space, so it's, like, all up in the windowsill, filling up a Brita. Um, yes, this is our, uh, my snazzy microwave that, that I had to buy, so, yeah. And here's all Taz's stuff. Um a dog bowl, a water bowl that I actually painted myself. It was from one of those places where you like pick up a ceramic piece and then pay for it and then paint it with their paints. The paw in the middle is supposed to be the color of his fur. It's <laughs> and then around the sides it says uh, Taz in different prints and um, it has dog bones on it. And that's his food. Um, and there he is, by the... Tazzy! Tazzy Mazzy! Over there, next to the, um, dog, uh, piddle pad that he has not used yet. He is yet to have an accident in the house, which I'm very proud of him. Um, is a dog toy of the Tasmanian Devil, which is Taz's namesake. So, we thought it was appropriate that he would have, um a Taz toy. So, the Taz has a Taz toy. It's Taz is playing with Taz. Um, here's a little calendar. It's wolves and it's the Defenders of Wildlife. Um, you know when you give charities and then they send you calendars. Um, here is a closet that we have put the mirror on, so after I'm done doing my makeup and my hair and my clothes and everything, I can check myself in the mirror and see how great or awful I look. Um, and in this closet is a mishmash of a lot of things. So yeah, I even have some Diet Coke in here, because there was nowhere else to put it. <laughs> um, next to my bathroom. My bathroom is... Well, it's functional. It Let's just call it that. Um, I do like this what came around the mirror. It's a cute little frame. I think it's cute. And you got your, your stuff on both sides. Um, this is a soap of a pug that I got for my birthday one year. Um, and his name is Rufus, Rufus the Pug Soap. Um, I have lots of, um, storage down under the sink, which is awesome. It's my random stuff that I have. Oh, this is Claire's, uh, ear care solution, because if you didn't notice, I got second and third holes in each ear. Um, my mom is very strict about, um, ways that I can rebel and be edgy, and, um, 
having second and third holes on my earlobes with, was in the parameter of being edgy while uh, still following her rules. So, yeah. Hanging on the door is my laundry bag. I think we got that at like Bed Bath & Beyond or something. And on the other side are my towels on and on, over the door hanger. Bath mat. And the uh, shower curtain. Yes, the tub is brown, but it, it works. We got one of those hangy things for the shower. And you can see what I use. Um, so yeah. It's the bathroom. It works. On to the best part, I guess, which is my bedroom. Uh, you come in and first on the back of the door, behind my pajamas, let me get those off, <laughs> is this really cool um, jewelry organizer. I think it's awesome. On this side is mainly earrings. And then on the other side, you might have seen these online, is um, Velcro straps where you can hold necklaces and such. So, see? I think it's kind of cool. Then I have this closet that it shows you how many closets I have. These, the bedroom has two closets, I'm guessing because they're, they're expecting like a couple. And... I'm not a couple, so the second closet is kind of empty. Um, I have travel stuff, I have belts and scarves, my winter boots, um, makeup, stuff like that. Um, I have set up on one of my chest of drawers a little, uh, hello, a little boudoir, a little vanity with this cute little um, Target stool and this cute Target um, lamp and my essential makeups uh, storage tip. There's a, a company called Talenti Gelato, T-A-L-E-N-T-I Gelato, and their gelato comes in these plastic containers. And so what I did for makeup organizing is I just took three of my favorite flavors, washed them, Put, put them through the dishwasher, and then they're now uh, makeup organizers. So, brushes, lip stuff, and um, eyeliner pencils, concealer, mascara, stuff like that. So, here's Tez's bed. It's an old, like, I think bathroom mat. Here's my bed. Um... My Beatles blanket, my Beatles anthology blanket that I've had since like middle school, so that's why it's all ratty. Um, I love my Poppy uh, comforter. There, squished between the sheets is Rufus. I mean, not Rufus. Rufus is the pug soap. That's Rev. That's Rev, my build a bear. Um, and I have purple sheets because, of course, I have to have purple sheets. This is a painting, or not a painting, this is a picture of a mural from Pastum, which was an ancient um, Latin city that, um, or an ancient Roman, ancient Latin city that was covered along with Pompeii, and um, so this is a mural of two, you know, how they had uh, homosexual relationships, so... The one on the right with the abs is the older man, and the one on the left is the younger man. So, I thought it was appropriate to have over my bed <laughs> this cool mural of a gay relationship from Pastum. Um, here's my little rug. My bedside table that has uh, Steve, the Stormtrooper alarm clock. Um... He's a Lego Stormtrooper that's also an alarm clock, and he's kind of awesome. Um, I also have this, which is a self-defense tool that my ex-boyfriend Matt made. He connected a uh, dart uh, that has those really sharp points um, with a handle that can easily fit in your palm. 
So what he told me is that if anyone comes into the house and tries to attack me, go for this right at the throat. And he said, you'll puncture something, they will more than likely die, but you will survive. Uh, so, and obviously I would put it in my left hand because I'm left-handed, but I'm holding the left hand with my camera. I'm using my left hand for the camera. So, yeah, it's my self-defense tool on my bedside table for worst case scenario. Bedside table, also bottom drawer is my unmentionables drawer. Every woman has their unmentionables drawer, and no, I'm not talking about underwear. Um, another charity organization calendar, this one is PETA. Um, this is one of my favorite things. Uh, this is a really antique, really cool um, toolbox. This would have been someone's toolbox, like on a farm or something. But my grandfather, when he bought it, had the genius to turn it into a table, so he put legs on it, as you can see down here. And I have my hair stuff, I have perfume, I have headbands, so I think it's awesome. It has little compartments so you can organize your stuff, and it's genius to turn it into a table. These three things I got from... When Attack of the Show was closing, I got a bunch of stuff from Attack of the Show when it ended, and three of the things were three signed um, door plaques. So I got Justin Willman, Mark Webb, and Gotham Chopra. This chest of drawers, I painted myself. I'm very proud of it, and yes, you can see little dings and stuff, because that's for moving. Um, but I painted it, and it kind of match matches my sheets. Uh, so, I'm proud of it. Here are random uh, pictures of the dogs. And here is my closet. My huge closet that I have all organized. Um, little drawers with miscellaneous things. And on the other side, we have the rest of my clothes with also my shoes. So, that is it. I hope that you enjoyed my one-bedroom apartment tour. I love you guys very, very much, and I will talk to you soon. Mwah! Bye!